Hi, I'm Rich Houghton. I'm a formulation chemist with New Farm, and we've been working on Champ Formula 2 Flowable for quite a while. We've improved this formulation to basically have no settling over at least a three-year period, and this product uh, disperses quickly into water and uh, flows easily through a, a sieve, and I'll demonstrate these properties to you. This product uh, it's been on the market for a while, but we continually try to improve it. Uh, this particular jug here has been in uh, cold storage um, and heat storage for over a year now. It cycles through this once per week from um, 5 degrees all the way up to 105 degrees. So what I'd like to show you right now is the uh, probe test that we do on this product. So we take a... Um, steel probe and we actually insert this into the product and we look for any type of sedimentation or clumpiness on the bottom. So when we do this test we put the probe in and we tap on the bottom. If you hear a clear tapping sound that means there's no sediment. Then we move the probe around and then pull the probe out. If there's nothing on the base of it we know that there's no sediment. Notice how the rod is perfectly clean or uniform down through the bottom. Okay, what I'd like to demonstrate to you is the dispersion properties of our product. So what I have here is a uh, three liter flask of tap water and I'll take our product and pour it into the water and show the bloom that results. This is the rapid dispersion of our product as it goes into water. This would be similar to what happens when it's used in the field. Okay, what I'll do is um, remove the cap and pour in uh, an amount of our product into the water. Notice the, uh, the blooming effect. Now this product has a density of 1.4, so it's heavier than water, so it naturally will go to the bottom. But with use of additives, surfactants, dispersants, and polymers, we're able to um, permit this formulation to disperse into water. So with gentle mixing, the product quickly goes into dispersion. Now what I'll do is take this mixture and pour it through a sieve to show the dispersion and the fineness of the product after dilution into water. I'm pouring this through a 40 mesh sieve. As you can see, there's no residue on the screen. What we have here is a sample of our com competitive product and some of the things that we evaluate and some of the deficiencies that we noted in this formulation are, uh, first of all, there's uh, top clearing or top separation that we see here. That by itself is not a problem, but it is um, a warning sign that product is starting to settle to the bottom. This product has been sitting here in the lab for quite a while. So when you probe down, you hear a little bit of a clink sound, but it's very thick on the bottom. And if I go around, you'll see um, a bulb or a type of chunk on here that's typical of of sedimentation that's forming. Okay, one more time. Let me get yeah, tight. sure. So 
So that's an indication that the product is starting to deteriorate. Okay, so this is our product, just to uh, compare with the competitive material. This product was uh, stored about the same length of time. As you can see, there's no separation at the top, which is a good sign. And probing this, feel for the sep sed uh, sedimentation or separation at the bottom. I don't feel any. You look at the end of the spatula, <clears throat> there is uh, no indication of a bulb or buildup after scraping the bottom of the jar.